to summarize all the things. Level one is the assisted version where you write the goals and AI will suggest things. This is very similar to how you work with any LLM via prompting. So all of your prompt engineering is be, can be classified with assisted. Um, mostly like how you work with these models like Claude or GPT. And these kind of things work really well when you have the full clarity and you want to take the maximum control because you are not okay delegating all the part of the process. You want AI to help you like a co-pilot and that's what the PRD prompt does. So it doesn't like allow Claude to generate every single requirement doc by itself, but it just like ask me right questions so that I can give all the information and detail and then Claude can figure out the in between suggest, suggest me the documentation based on the pattern. With the accelerated approach, uh, you can come up with a plan and you can use this plan that you've generated in the level one. So we use level one to generate the plan, put this into lovable, which was a level two, where AI start executing things and we saw the output. So this was one of the way to like use AI and you can do this with Gemini, you can do this with lovable, there are like multiple apps out there. Um, and the last part is where once I'm happy with the output of Lovable or basically these any kind of like accelerated applications, what I now want is to take things into my local code and I want to now seriously build this application where I also need to maybe discuss the system architecture, look at the code base, look at all the things and technologies, what it will be building. And I don't want to just AI to assume things. And I want it to like give me first the uh, the opinion, the plan, and then once I approve the plan, it should execute those things. And that is where the Claude code comes in. So if I just quickly put these things, any LLM which you use today from the consumer application, that is a part of level one assisted level, where you write AI suggest with your prompting. Wherever you are using AI to generate code, these are your vibe coding applications, so-called. These are part of your level two and accelerated programming. When you're using an agent, like Claude Code is an agent which can take your task, it can generate a plan, it can also create files on your own in your system and it can use skills by the way. So it is combining the details of what we have learned and connecting the dots from there. So it's not just like lovable right now cannot use any skill as of now. So even if I'm doing this, so the reason why you can see the page has a purple architecture and sorry the purple color is also a sign that I know that this is generated from the cloud. I was telling you in the beginning that very easy way for me to detect things like wherever you, sh you see a gradient of purple and like these generic fonts which is mostly inter I could I, I know that this is generated by cloud and the LM default generation. So this will not help you uh, to improve things when you are maybe trying to get the compounding benefits. And that's where my pitch comes in is that I think everybody would be working with the autonomous agents in the future and you will become the agent boss where you will write the clear requirements and maybe like a plan and then your AI will uh, give you like a counter plan or maybe like give you the way how it's going to execute things and it can go and implement things. And if it does a good implementation and you are happy with that, then you can ask it to store things. You can ask it to keep it a reference. You can ask it to remember these instructions and create a skill document for itself. And over time, the skill document, just like what I showed you today, this entire slide deck has been improved over the last one and a half month with the help of the cloud skills that has helped me to go from a slide that looks like this to the slide which looks like this today that has much more dynamic element. That can be possible. And this is not only with slide, this is possible with your banking application, your finance application, um, your personal portfolios, your website, every single thing, as long as you can define it in, in the instruction and plot can generate this or any agent can generate that, you can define skill for that. And you can build multiple skills, one for design, one for backend, one for frontend, and all of these skills combined together can work with an autonomous agent that can improve over time and compound the learning. And that's the entire revision and the recap of whatever we have learned so far.